Take a look at this. Mm. How mm. good does that strawberry oh, shortcake yeah. look? A lot of people are <laughs> going to be hungry later today on Monument Circle at the annual Strawberry Festival. This is always such a big event for Christ Church Cathedral. And they're already up this early getting ready for the big event. John is live at the Circle this morning talking about how you can be a part of this later today. John, I'm telling you right now, uh, oh, you're, you, got, you got the shortcakes ready to go. I like that about you. Yeah, Carlos, here's, here's the base of them. Not, not dressed up just yet. I'm with Elise uh, Schrock with Christ Church. This has been around since 1965. They're so happy to have this back. How, how important of a tradition is this for, for your church? This is hugely important to us, not just because it brings people to the circle every year where we can break bread together, offer some really positive fun time for the community, but because 95% of what we raise, that, that money goes back out into the community in the form of grants. So organizations really depend on this as much as the people who come to enjoy it do. And Carlos was telling me these are one of the best shortcakes around. Yeah. What goes they into these? They are amazing and they are handmade. We handmade 15,000 of them this year. 15,000. So you can get the works for $7, which is a biscuit. And then we put a little ice cream on it. And then, of course, our strawberries. Oh, and you can yeah. get all of these items a la carte if that's your thing as well. Um, and then, of course, we got to top it with a little bit of whipped cream. So all of this is $7. We are accepting cards this year, which is new. It's a less contact option. Some of our pro wellness protocols that we've enacted, including please wear a mask when you come and you're not eating. Um, all of our volunteers have been vaccinated, will be masked. So we're really trying to keep everyone safe while enjoying our same great shortcake. And this usually takes over Monument Circle. Is this going to shut down Monument Circle? Are you expecting yes. as many people? Yeah, so if you're coming downtown, be aware, we will have the north side of the circle shut down. Our tents are twice as large as they were last year, and we're only doing one line under each tent just to keep everyone spaced out a bit more. Um, but we're very excited to welcome everyone back. Entertainment starts at 9 with the Indianapolis Symphony Orchestra, goes throughout the day with various artists. So it's going to be a great day. We're yep. excited. Fantastic. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to some great food. 9 to 4 today, guys, on Monument Circle. We'll be back with more in the next hour. John, I got my credit card in my hand right now. That's right. Prepared <laughs> to be maxed out. All right, I'm ready to go with this. Thank I, you, John. They're taking cards this year, John. Great job, my friend. That looks delicious. That is a big, big deal because in the past you had to have cash. And I've got to tell you, total transparency here, uh, the last time I went, I looked in my wallet. Somebody had cleaned me out. <laughs> <laughs> and so I had to bum some money off of uh, one of our uh, co-workers here, but that's really a big deal. Mm -hmm. And it was such a big deal they missed out on it last yes, year right. because oh, it's man. so vitally important, that mm -hmm. money that it brings in. Yeah. You heard them say all of their volunteers are vaccinated, so you should feel a little bit safer about that yeah. and comfortable about that. If only they had perfect weather today. <laughs> yeah, if only that would be <laughs> it. I mean, it's really going to be great. This